welcome to the Level 2 Research Skills Workshop for Psychology. My name is Jocelyn and I'm one of the librarians here at CAPU. I'll be taking you through the workshop today. Before we get started, what I'd really like to do is a quick review of the things that you learned in the Level 1 workshop, just so that you can refresh your memory and so that we are all starting from the same place. So in the Level 1 workshop, we started off with a discussion of what kinds of resources you can use for your research. And we focused on peer-reviewed academic journal articles. You learned about what they are and why they're considered valuable in an academic environment. Then we learned a little bit about where they live. So not on Google, but rather in databases in the library. We talked about how databases are organized by subject area and how the database for psychology that we have in the library is called PsycInfo. After that, we broke down our research question into its main concepts. So the sample that we used was, does playing violent video games lead to greater aggressive behavior? I'm actually gonna continue using the same sample topic in this workshop, um, although when you do your own activities, you're gonna be using your own topic, so that's not the one you're necessarily using for your paper. Once we learned about breaking down the research question into its main concepts and then coming up with keywords for each one, you learned about how to search PsycInfo using those keywords. And from there, we took a look at two strategies for how to expand your results out and get even more. The first of those strategies was by using the connecting words and and or, and the second strategy was how to use the truncation or wildcard searching with the star or the asterisk. After we learned how to expand your search out and get more results, we learned how to narrow it back down to the most relevant ones. And to do that, we used three different techniques. We used phrase searching, we used field searching, and we used filters. We moved on to figuring out how to actually read the papers that you found that you wanted to read, whether um, in PDF through the library or through submitting an interlibrary loan. Before we continue on with the level two intermediate workshop, I'm going to give you a list of links back to those videos in case you want to review and refresh your memory on any of them. So in level two, we're going to move on to some more intermediate research skills that will help take your research to the next level. I'll tell you a little bit about what we're going to do. First, we're going to learn about how to differentiate between different kinds of peer-reviewed journal articles. Last time, we just kind of treated them as if they were all the same, but we're gonna look at a couple different types. So we're gonna look at empirical studies, we'll look at meta-analyses, and we're going to look at review papers. We're also going to take a look at how to expand your search outside of the library, looking both at open access journals and using Google Scholar to do searching. I think the best part of this level two workshop is actually going to be this next skill that you're going to learn, which is called citation linking. It's a more advanced research skill that will allow you to discover more papers that will be relevant to your research topic than you might have found using the databases or the online tools. And after we've done that, we're gonna take a look at APA style. We won't go through it in complete detail, but I'd like to share with you my approach to how I use it for formatting my references. You'll now have a chance to review any of the topics that you want to for level one, and then I'll see you in the next video to get started on our workshop for today.